Hello. Hello. My name is uh, Zizi Goudinas. I'm Ioannis Arslanoglu. Uh, my name is Melpomeni Tani. I'm 20 years old. My name is Antonis Donas and I'm 20 years old. My name is Tavrula Mavridou. I'm 22 years old and I'm studying Industrial Engineering and Management in Democritus University of Thras and I'm the Chief of Operation in Democritus Racing Team. I'm currently studying Electrical and Computer Engineering here at Democritus University of Thrace. Study Electrical and Computer Engineering here at Democritus University of Thrace and I'm the HV uh, Chief of this year. I'm 23 years old and I study industrial engineering in the University of Thrace in Xanthi. I'm the mechanical director of the team. 21 years old, I'm an undergraduate student of industrial engineering at Democritus University of Thrace and I'm chief of aerodynamic and composite team. Tell us about the Democritus Racing Team. What exactly does your team do and what is your mission? Democritus Racing Team is the Formula Student Team of Democritus University of Thrace. We design and manufacture our own racing cars, similar to Formula One racing cars, but a bit of smaller. So uh, our team started in 2017 from a group of industrial engineering students. And in 2019, they created the first race car, Argo, uh, with which they competed in the Formula Student Competition of Italy. Then later in 2021, they competed with the same car, but upgraded uh, in the Formula Student Netherlands competition where they gained the a sixth overall place um, in this competition. After this uh, major achievement, the team decided to go to the electric vehicle category. And uh, in 2022, we created our first EV race car, EXR1, with which we competed uh, in the Formula Student Alpe Adria in Croatia. And this year, in 2023, we raced with our second electric vehicle, Odyssey, uh, in Formula Student Italy and in Formula Student Czech Republic, where we uh, achieved um, something very important for our team, a first place in the business plan uh, presentation event. So our main goal is to promote engineering among the university students here in Xanthi and to make them learn more and achieve more in their, in their careers and in their academic life. You are working on an ambitious project developing an electric formula car. What are the major challenges you face in the construction phase? The challenges that we face are threefold. First of all, Greece doesn't have a very big manufacturing center, uh, sector, so uh, we, there is not uh, many. Uh, there aren't very many available uh, machine uh, shops to do our job, uh, so that forces us to be creative with our designs. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the problem is accentuated by the location of our university in the regional city of Greece. Uh, but uh, that forces us to be creative. We have uh, forged uh, strong uh, relationships with local uh, machine shops that help, uh, help us a lot uh, realize our designs. How easy or difficult is to add new members and how does it affect your plans? Do you approach new members or they can apply to join? Uh, it is actually pretty difficult since when someone decides to join the team, uh, they're not familiar with what Formula Student is as a constitution. Uh, besides that, they have to get used to how the team works, uh, what philosophy does it represent, how much time and effort does it take, and what personal sacrifices they have to make in order to have such an outcome. Uh, new members can join through the recruitment forms that are open once or twice during the season, usually at September or March. You occasionally participate in international competitions with other teams from foreign universities and you have received positive feedback and awards. What have you gained from interacting with other teams and how has it helped improve your own work? Yes, we participate every summer in international competitions with other teams from foreign universities. Specifically, this summer we participated in FSA Italy competition and in FSA Republic competition, where we had the pleasure of winning the first place in the static event of business plan presentation among 36 other teams. The interaction with other teams and generally other people in the competitions is very important to improve ourselves and learn from them. 
We exchange knowledge, experience, ideas, and we discuss about issues that concern us, for example, some problems or obstacles that maybe we had. There are many other Formula Cars, as well as other student teams or startups working on similar projects. What sets your team apart? The main difference is that the Democritus Racing Team, DRT, is based here in Xanthi, a small rural city uh, where university students uh, are very close to each other and live like a family. This empowers us to make our race cars, to bring our race cars to life. So we put uh, a true value to what we make. We design and manufacture uh, almost every part on the race car on our own. And uh, this is a challenge that we have to face being uh, away from big cities that everything uh, is being made by ourselves. Regarding the composite material you use, where do you source them from and what challenges do you encounter with them? The aerodynamics team designs and manufactures an aerodynamic package consisting of the front wing, rear wing, side pod and bodywork uh, using composite materials. These composite materials are limited in our country and those that exist are quite expensive. So we source, we source them from abroad, adding extra cost to our manufacturing design. Do you collaborate with other teams within Greece or abroad? So uh, a main target of our team is to build a strong network between the other uh, Greek teams so we can collaborate on the project and evolve together. A main reason that uh, the teams from other foreign countries such as Germany, Italy, France uh, have evolved dramatically is that they, uh, in the past years, they collaborated, they built projects together, they made purchases together and they shared their knowledge. So this way uh, everyone had access to everything and they evolved further uh, this way. Uh, this is something that we are trying to build here in Greece uh, to make better connections among the people in the teams and to uh, share the knowledge and also in more practical ways such as uh, we have to source a lot of our uh, materials from abroad. If we make an order together we can uh, save on money and have better deals. This is something very important for us. So it's not only the knowledge but it's also in more practical ways such as the materials and the manufacturing as I said. So it's something that we are working on and uh, we are doing good project in that uh, aspect. from uh, the space of the Thrust Incubator, our uh, startup uh, company Accelerator. And here we are at Democritus Racing Team offices, our headquarters, so join us. So most of the team comes here daily to work on the race car, mainly on the designs and uh, the operations uh, division, uh, talks with companies here, makes their calls uh, or every other promotional material that we use in our social media website and events. So yes, this is uh, the heart of the team. Do members have specific criteria to join? Uh, basically, I wouldn't call them specific. Uh, they should be familiar with basic uh, electrical or mechanical engineering practices, uh, but the most important thing is to have personal motives, uh, have a desire to learn and understand and be curious. What are your plans for the future and how do you believe this project will benefit you professionally? So, uh, firstly, the team's plans for the future are to keep evolving. Uh, we have to constantly improve and uh, create better things and better race cars. Uh, a main goal for the near future is to create our own uh, BMS, to use a more powerful uh, electric motor for a race car and to manufacture um, our, our aerodynamic package from prepreg uh, composite materials. Uh, later in 
a couple of years, we would like to create uh, the first monocoque uh, chassis for our team and uh, also maybe go to a dual motor system, uh, perhaps. Uh, these improvements would um, make our race car significantly faster and more robust and efficient. On a, per on a personal level, um, I wish that uh, my journey with this team ends uh, successfully and uh, maybe one day I can join a big motorsport uh, team like Formula One teams and uh, become a successful engineer. What are you currently working on? Are you making any modifications or upgrades to the vehicle? Uh, after we achieved last year's goal, which was to build a reliable and robust car, this year's goal was to lighten the car as much as we could. Uh, in order to achieve that, we changed the design of the rims. We uh, will put uh, smaller and uh, more lightweight rims on the car. We'll change the geometry of the suspension as well as lighten the chassis of the car. Uh, this will uh, result in a much lighter car that would have a much greater uh, performance on track. Furthermore, we are building a telemetry system for our car, as well as uh, improving our PCB designs. Uh, and uh, We are also working on uh, acquiring as much data from our car as possible through sensors that we'll put on the car. What strategy are you using for marketing and to put the word out there? It is very challenging to handle the marketing department for Formula Student Team. It is important to constantly promote our team on social media platforms and generally everywhere. It requires effort to find supporters or people who want and can help you. Although we try to very hard in order to achieve our best and convince others for our work. We try to be active and this is the reason why we choose to participate and organize uh, different events every year. In this way, we create a community around our team. Besides the challenges in the manufacturing sector, you also face financial challenges. How do you fund your efforts? Our team is mainly funded by uh, companies and sponsors that are willing to support our uh, pro a project and to want to fund a young team of students uh, in the field of engineering. Our main sponsor for this year are powered by sponsor Rodopi, uh, has helped us a lot, tremendously, and uh, has funded this year's race car um, along with uh, uh, our almost a hundred sponsors, uh, like our premium sponsors Campeon Gaming, uh, Altair and uh, Lancome, uh, which help us uh, very much. Uh, the main goal of our sponsors is not only to help us uh, and finance the team uh, to overcome the trouble that we have, but also to uh, help the students in the university in the later stages of their career. So many of our sponsors um, absorb a large proportion of the students in the team in their workspaces and help them build a better career and a better life in the future. What challenges are you facing as a woman and working on such a project? The challenge is the stereotypes. It is not forbidden for a woman to deal with such a project as she can offer and develop it. It is just the preview of a male engineer is more familiar than the female one. Your team consists of over 40 people. How easy is to coordinate and work together? It's very hard to coordinate a large team of 40 people, especially engineers, but uh, the challenge is entertaining and uh, it's uh, great uh, step for your future career. So basically, uh, I do not have to do everything by myself uh, as the team leader, but I have uh, a lot of great people by my side. So basically, our team consists of three departments, the electronics department, the mechanical department, and the operations department, each with their own director. And uh, each department has sub-teams with their own chief. So the responsibilities are shared equally and uh, the workload is spread across the whole members and this way we manage to uh, work efficiently and in a very good way. How can more women join? 
more and more women join our team and our project every year as we try to deliver that the team is friendly from everyone, not only for the men, but also for a woman. Um, the main point uh, to join someone in our team is the passion for work and development and not the gender. So we are in your workshop now. Yes. And this is the place that you are actually working. So describe a typical day in the workshop and what tasks are involved. Okay, so basically when the team uh, comes to the workshop, uh, we split in the sub-teams, electrical and mechanical, and everyone has their, their own task that they have to do. For example, uh, right here is the iron composite uh, table, here's the mechanical uh, part, uh, the electrical department is all over the place, <laughs> and basically everyone has a, a job to do, and they split in the whole room and they just do it. Okay, can you tell us more about what you do here? Okay, so I am, as I said before, I'm the high voltage chief of this year and actually here's the accumulator design. Basically this is the power of the car uh, that I designed last year. It uh, is actually the heart of the race car as I can describe it and when I come to the workshop and I have to work on it. Here's the table. We do some simple tasks that have to be done and that's all. <laughs> and this is the last one, the, 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 the past car? Uh, yeah, this is the car of this season. We are currently designing the new one, as uh, you saw on the office above. And now we have to do some tests in this car so we can implement them on the new car. <laughs>